Now, welcome to Tell Me a Little About Yourself, that program that reveals for the first time a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the world of undiscovered talent. Tell you a little about myself? Well, my name is Thomas Ferranti. Also, sometimes I'm known as Spike Beasley. I'm currently pursuing um, acting and voice acting as well, so my ideal role might very well consist of powering the two an actor actually doing some sort of an accent or a characterization or something. Well, recently I was asked to participate as an actor in a handful of film projects, which I enjoyed immensely, and uh, this included one actual voiceover role for an evil villain named Radic for a character, an evil villain that wore a mask. And then, when I was on the set for one of these magnanimous projects, there was a young couple who was directing and writing. They saw me and they said, we want to write for that guy. So they wrote me a starring role in the next short film. And now, here's a small taste of some of those projects coming up right now. She's like a scared animal. Just go. Something's gonna happen, I can feel it. I'm walking along, mind my own business, and how I got here, I don't even know. How are we feeling today? Like death warmed over. You will soon find that nightmares are just the beginning. Because the moment you wake up, then, and only then, is when the real horror begins. When it comes to voice acting, I have been called a natural by a voice teacher, very versatile by a voice agent, and man of a thousand voices by a karaoke host. I was even recently bumped up to the number one position at a new site called Read3.com specializing allowing screenwriters and directors and such to upload their scripts so that then they can ask voice actors to voice the read-through of their script. When you go to Read3.com and click on the voices, you'll see number one right there is me, mate. I was recently asked on Read3.com to do three voices on a single script. I wonder if the roles are worth a for a Chinese thug, a tougher guy, who I'm going to shoot you. Well, one of the roles was also for an Italian, the mafia boss, a real wise guy, but he's a family man, you know. So, after he makes a nice dinner, then he'll shoot you, know what I mean? And one role was for an 80-year-old man. Except he was also an Irishman. The screenwriter was very pleased with the performance. He even referred to me as a pro's pro, and a consummate professional, don't you know? I was only eight years old when I first began performing as a paid voice artist, as a hand puppeteer as part of the family clown act, performing at hundreds of kids' parties and other events, voicing several distinct characters for a hand puppet show, often one on each hand. Thanks so much. It's been real fun, don't you? Know?